Hi, I'm Sasha. These are my melt in your mouth Viennese swells. They're not too sweet, but still a super yummy treat. Now they're far easier to make than most people think, so they're sure to impress everyone. For this, you're going to use 250 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of corn flour, 50 grams of icing sugar, 250 grams of softened butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And finally, for the drizzly topping, I'm using 70 grams of dark chocolate and about 20 grams of butter. I'm going to use my stand mixer with the paddle attachment for this, just to take some of the hard work out. If you don't have one, do it by hand, it'll just take you a bit longer. So let's get all the butter in and get that mixing for a couple of minutes just to soften it further. Now the butter's had a little bit more time to soften, we can put all of the dry ingredients in. So that's the two types of flour and the icing sugar. We'll also put the vanilla in as well at this stage. Slowly increase the speed on your stand mixer as the flour and butter starts to combine and take some time just to scrape down the edges as well. By the end, it'll look like a nice cookie dough mixture. A bit like this. So now I'm ready to put that into my piping bag. I'm just gonna use a large tablespoon to get the mixture in. There's no way to make this look pretty. Sorry guys. Now I'm ready to start piping. Great thing about these biscuits is you can make them whatever shape you want. Now when I'm piping, I'm just letting the mixture flood out to make a decent sized cookie and then giving a little twist as I pull away. I've managed to make 44 little biscuits there. What you need to do now is preheat your oven to 160 Celsius and whilst that's preheating, pop these in the fridge just to chill. temperature it's time to get them in but keep an eye on them because they don't take long mine have been in for just under 10 minutes just starting to turn this beautiful golden brown colour. Now they'll still be slightly soft to the touch, but they'll set as they cool and they're ready to come out. Well that happened, melt your chocolate and butter for the drizzly topping over a pan of boiling water. Now this is optional, but if you have a little icing sugar, why not dredge it over the top just to add a little bit more spark. chocolate up to drizzly consistency, ready to start decorating. Once they're cooled and the chocolate has set, they're ready to serve up. Now you could serve them as individual biscuits like I've done here, or you could sandwich them together with a little bit of buttercream, which I can show you how to make by clicking the link here, and some jam. Either way, you're sure to love them. Don't forget to check me out on various social media, and as ever, come back for seconds.